Hey everyone, today we're covering 10 of the most important memes you need to know in order to really understand the culture of crypto circles. Let's get right into it. 1. Wojak In crypto, Wojaks are typically an expression of emotion about the current market situation, with each one carrying a different meaning. The regular Wojak is often a stand-in for the everyman. This is why you'll often find Wojak as the main character in animations regarding people's experience in crypto. Wojak originated from 4chan in 2010, so it's nothing new. It's been extremely popular in crypto circles for years, and I think a lot of that last ability has a lot to do with how simple Wojaks are. Because it's literally a black and white MS Paint drawing, there's no issue in changing it up and getting this meme to fit different situations and attitudes. It's like a blank slate for any emotion or situation, and it's shorthand for expressing different emotions. A lot like our next example, 2. Pepe. Pepe is another long-standing character in the crypto community, and he's probably still the most common and popular meme in the culture. Pepe's roots go a long way back, but an important part of its history is directly involved in crypto. Rare Pepe's were digital trading cards that were certified on blockchains and traded often in counterparty or Pepe cash. Pepe has been a massive part of how people express themselves online. 3. Pink Wojak Unlike its more standard counterpart, the Pink Wojak represents the absolute soul-crushing despair and self-loathing that crypto enthusiasts experience when coins or stocks crash. It's probably the most extreme use of Wojak, conveying extreme rage beyond belief. Like all investments, there is a healthy amount of risk involved in cryptocurrency, so losses can and will happen. And when they do, nothing is more fitting to express your unbridled rage than a screaming pink Wojak with blood for tears. 4. Stonks Stonks is very clearly a misspelling of the word stocks, but it's usually meant to indicate a share that's losing money. If a crypto enthusiast is calling something a stonk, they might not just be joking around. It could be almost like an insult or a warning to others not to invest. 5. Bogged or the Bogdanov Twins This one's popularity stems from humorous YouTube videos in which the Bogdanov character is pulling the strings behind the scenes of crypto and making the main character Wojak's life a living hell. It's just a funny idea having someone who's like this massive, shadowy entity controlling things, like destroying Bitcoin's market cap with one phone call. I highly recommend watching those videos from Bizonaki if you want a good laugh. 6. Degen Shorthand for degenerate, but specifically in a crypto context, a degen trader is someone who trades without actual research or due diligence. It's someone who expresses fear of missing out and throws everything into pumps with little thought. On the other hand, some crypto traders will use DGEN positively, often referring to themselves as DGENs when they knowingly invest in a worthless coin. The philosophy there is that even though it's more likely that it'll all fall apart, there's always the chance of that crazy massive 100 times return. Some crypto traders pride themselves on this. 7. Shitcoin So this is a pretty common one. People use shitcoin to refer to cryptocurrencies with little to no value. When you see the massive amount of altcoins that are created to capitalize on memes or trends, you might feel discouraged, you might feel angry or disappointed, you might call it a shitcoin. They're easy to identify because of the pattern they follow. Shitcoins are often characterized by short-term price increases, followed by absolute massive nosedives, caused by investors who want to capitalize on short-term gains, and that's the only time they'll ever have value. 8. NGMI, not gonna make it. You'll see this frequently in crypto circles. In that context, it's meant to describe that a crypto investor could miss out on a huge profit on a certain trade. Sometimes though, people use it in a tongue-in-cheek way, so if you're ever confused by someone's use of NGMI, be aware of the context it's being used in. 9. Shill. A shill in crypto is someone who shamelessly promotes a cryptocurrency or crypto projects for their own personal gain. This has been an especially troublesome problem lately, as influencers and content creators left and right have been guilty of this. 
Everyone has their own opinion on what constitutes a shill, but they're essentially scammers who are only in it for the money and don't care about the real innovation and tech behind crypto. 10. Normie In a crypto market, a normie has less to do with preferences or lifestyle and more to do with market outlook and understanding. A normie to a crypto enthusiast is someone with a traditional mindset and, as a result, probably decided to stay out of the crypto market altogether. Normies typically don't understand or believe in crypto. When they do, they're people who do five minutes of research and then act like experts. They're also only interested in the most mainstream and popular coins, so they're easy to sniff out. So there you have it, the top 10 crypto memes you should know. Did you enjoy this video? Do you have any suggestions for topics you'd like to see me cover in the future? Let me know in the comments, and if you'd like to help support independent tech journalism, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks everyone, see you next time.